what's going on with this truck right here? Hey, did they have an accident? Just. His home. What's up you guys? Good morning. Welcome to another vlog on the Nick and Carla channel. Um, I am getting ready to... Me and Carla, we're getting ready to run this low. We never did before. It's, a, it's got six stops in it. Um, and remember in the previous vlog, I said we are really close to hitting our goal. After we run this load, it really all depends on what we get. And this load here is a level three. It puts it... A, Put us at a level three for the week now i also wanted to turn the vlog on this time because in the previous vlog not only did we tell y'all that our apu was out yet again that's the problem we're having so we're gonna have to get to a shop and get a repair which that's kind of been the challenge trying to get it repaired and work at the same time but then also now our water pump has went out. It's early in the morning, I have to brush my teeth. So I'm taking it back to what we used to do in track the trailer days. And the reason I'm showing this is because I don't want you all to have an unrealistic idea of what things look like when you come out here. So when you run into moments like this, you, you understand like this is a part of trucking. <laughs> you know, stuff break down. So I gotta put a little water in there. Yeah, I know how to do it, hopefully. You know, some people may go through this and be like, oh no, this is the ghetto, or this is horrible. Like, this is a part of it. But you think your vehicle ain't gonna break down? You think it ain't gonna break down? Oh, okay. Good morning, honey. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, so um, the pickup is here in San Dimas, California, which if y'all didn't see the previous vlog, we got to go and hang out with our mentors. They took us out to eat, and sorry, we had hot pot for the first time. That was so freaking awesome. Um, I ain't gonna lie, my stomach actually burning from uh, eating the really hot stuff. Whew, but it was so good. Oh my God, my face was sweating, nose snotting. It was all type of stuff going on, but it was so good at work. Now, in order to do this type of work, you have to either A, have your own truck, or drive for an owner or a fleet, which we drive for high field trucking fleet. The benefit in doing that is you don't have to worry about the inevitable breakdowns and you can just learn the industry first. Now what Carla and I have found is when you're out here and you go through moments like this where everything is breaking down and stuff, if you can have a good attitude and be optimistic and just be patient with everything, go through the process, things just will always work out for you. That's why it's good to also keep water jugs in the truck with you because you never know when you may need water. So we keep water on this because Carla, she already drank like a, uh, like a, uh, what is it? How do you say drink like a what? She drink a lot of water. So um, I got like 15 minutes till I'm about to pull off. But I thought it was funny yesterday when we went to um, the hot pot place, which hot pot, you're cooking like raw meat inside of a broth and you're eating it with noodles, vegetables, mushrooms. It was a pretty good experience. But Tim asked if we were like vegan or vegetarian and it was just good to say we're none of that. Like we're not vegan. We don't put, we hate labels. We been there done that tried that in the past and we realized it's just best not to put labels on this however um carl and i we found that we do like to majority of the time eat fruits and vegetables and y'all know when we went on our last home time we did the raw before four um where you do your raw fruits and vegetables majority fruit like 80 percent fruit 20 percent vegetables before four p.m and then afterwards you eat your cooked meal um, and at that time we were eating like cooked vegetables. However, now out here, we've still been doing that. So, um, however, today, because we ate so much, when I say I ate so much ice cream, I ate so much food. I just, whoo child, I ate a lot. Um, so today what Carla and I are going to do is just a full raw day. So when you do the raw before four, it's also good to try to have 
some days where you just do fully raw. It, th this is how we like to do it. Um, and so far, it's been helping with balancing our weight, you know, managing it. Um, so today, because we ate so much, we're just going to do just straight up fruits and vegetables. Uh, I think I'm about to get ready to pull on off so we can get this started, honey. And we're supposed to be, I, I know Spokane, Washington, I, I think this is supposed to be just a beautiful drive. Now, I'm not a big fan of driving through the mountains in this area, but it's still a really beautiful drive. And then I remember the first time I went to Washington State, it was like during the winter time. I was shocked at the fact that it was so cold all around. I don't know why I expected it to be cold in Washington. Um, we were in Seattle, and it wasn't cold. It was actually kind of warm. Like, I had to take off some clothes. I was just so confused by that. This truck right here. Hey, oh, did they have an accident? Just is he blowing his horn? And he's leaving now. He must have brake checked him or something. What? What the f happening? Jaybreak for this uh this thing back there pushing me. up you guys welcome to another day on the nick and carla channel as you can see we are at home it has been a while since i've spoken to you all because i've just been chilling um and we're currently on our home time enjoying ourselves but we have loads that are just coming through like crazy and we're trying to figure out how we are going to make our way to Fort Wayne, Indiana, because we actually have a trucking expo that we have to attend. I 
decided to actually just get up early because, I mean, hey, I'm day shift and um, loads are just coming out like crazy. So I'm trying to just find the best deal. And it seems like Carla and I may end up having to pack our things up today <laughs> and be ready to leave like either tonight or tomorrow morning. So we got a lot of things to do. My nails look like crap. I got to get them done. We got to get them done. That's how crazy as hell. I'm talking about I got to get my nails done. It is what it is. We got to do our hair. There's a few things we got to do before we leave. If you would have asked uh, me a few months ago what a trucking expo is, I would have said I have no idea. However, those who watch this, I remember we just recently attended the Women's Expo. And I would assume it's similar. Um, a bunch of different trucking companies that sit around and um, show off their company. So I'm assuming it's the same thing, which I know we really don't get out and go to events like that. We just now started to get comfortable with it or trying to um, to get comfortable with it and put ourselves out there more. But uh, yeah, we I guess we're going to all see what it is and how it goes. Uh, load opportunity. Phone been ringing off the hook. So far, you got Lowe's is trying to send us to the Northeast. You got Lowe's is trying to send us to out West. I saw one going to Nevada, but it's a little tricky because we're trying to stay Midwest. So this may be a long day, but you know what? What's a good way to get through a long day? Zelda. <laughs> Uh-oh, y'all, Carla up. You know Carla up, that mean it's gonna be time to start shaking and moving soon. <laughs> Man, she done put something else on our list to do. We gotta do returns. And the thing is too, that I didn't mention, so what's different about this home time is once we leave, um, we're gonna be gone for a long time. Mainly because we have our Japan, our, our trip, We got our, hold on, what's this right here? It, I see Fort Wayne in the description. Oh no, no, that's picking up all the way in New Jersey, dang. But um, we, uh, so after we run, we got our trip to Japan and we're actually gonna be out longer than usual. We're gonna be out for like six weeks straight. This, this uh, previous round, we were out for four weeks, but this round we're gonna be out for six weeks. And then after that, we're going to Japan. Then we get back, we're going to run some more. And then uh, we're going to do our home time. So we're going to be out a little minute. We actually got to take our suitcases with us to our carry-ons. So we already have that with us. But that's why it's so important for us to get everything done before we leave. Because we're going to be gone for a minute. I think I want to kind of switch it up a little bit when it comes to my nails. I don't expect the most from the nails tech here in Huntsville, but um, uh, I usually always just get, I used to always just get matte black, but um, last time I switched it up for the first time and I got some with designs and I was like, you know, that was fun. I think I want to uh, dive into that a little bit more. Now I don't want it to be too flamboyant, too crazy, of course. But I do want to play around with maybe like a black and green, black and yellow, something like that. Um, I wear a lot of black, so I try to keep the, the, the base of it black. Carla, you know what you're doing to your nails today, Karen? No. I don't know. That looks fun. Kind of like this. What you think, honey? But I wonder if they can matte that or if it will look right matte. Oh, that's different. But that looks green and black. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. Oh, okay. You think it'll uh, you think it look right matte? Mm, probably, yeah. 
Wait, all of it mad? Yeah. Hmm. Probably. I guess it just depends on if they can do it. I wonder if they can do it. How did they do that? Is this two different polishes? Yeah. I'll screenshot it. I don't know, guys. But we'll see what happens. home <clears throat> we had to get us some you know fruit from home and I'm gonna tell y'all right before we made our way home we stopped in San Diego California at this store called pavilions at the end of the day it's the point that we were in Southern California we had their fruit for the first time it make us feel like something is wrong with the dirt here in Alabama because the fruit just don't taste the same. But, um, so, but, but I did happen to find when we went to Sprouts, I found a uh, old fruit that I haven't seen since we went to Portugal, Madeira Island. How many of y'all remember these? Mmm. I'm about to bite into this mug. I see why they say it has that pineapple taste. It has the texture of banana. It has a flavor of pineapple. You see the seeds? Mm, yeah. Oh, here we go. Look. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, it is so delicious. If so, comment below. The Chetty Moyas. Y'all remember my first time? Y'all actually got to witness my first time trying it on camera. It's hard as a mug, but it said take about a week for it to ripen. But yes, I was so excited when I found these. And then Carla, she found some of these. Some crunchy okra chips. And I thought because they were crispy, they were not going to be slimy, y'all. But when I took my first bite, the slime just filled all over my mouth. I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, she is telling a feel. <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Hey. It didn't ooze out, but it's still a slimy, texture that's on these things. Comment below if you've had these that's before. That's what's healthy for you. I know, and that's the thing. I'm a texture person, but I heard that okra is so healthy for you. I think it helps you uh, regulate, like it gets rid of constipation. Yeah, it cleans out your intestinal tract. They are so healthy. I just cannot get around the slime. Even in this crispy form, I still can I sense the slime. It, the I can slime. feel it coating my tongue. Yeah, <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? We are now on the road. Um, been on the road for about shoot, five hours. We stopped at a Walmart to get us something to eat, which uh, we made us our own version of a Chipotle bowl. It was so good. Better than Chipotle, better than Subway could ever do in their life, they thought, you know, what they thought. But um, we are about 130 miles away from our destination where we're gonna park at tonight. And um, 
the plan is after we drop this load, we're going to head to uh, where the expo is going to be at, which is in like Fort Wayne, Indiana. And uh, we're going to get there early because our truck, like I said, we're switching into a newer truck. Um, it's ready. So we're going to get there so we can go ahead and just move all of this stuff out. So we don't have to do it while the expo is going on. The expo is going to be for like two days. So um, that's the plan. I'm actually really looking forward to this truck because when we get this truck, we'll be able to film more um, outside of the truck uh, without having to worry about getting certain brands or, or whatever into our videos. Um, hopefully I'll be able to whip out my drone and start doing more of those type of shots and just kind of showing maybe what certain tasks outside the truck look like. Um, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. Now, the only thing is the truck that we're getting is a different brand. The brand, Carl and I, for the majority of my trucking career, I've always driven Freightliner, um, except I was trained on a manual Kenworth. That So at first I started off with Kenworth and then from there, <clears throat> it's always been Freightliner and it's the same for a Carla, right? Well, I think my first trainer had this type of truck. I'm not sure, I'm thinking he did. What type of truck? Um, what, like a... Freightliner? No, I don't think his was a Freightliner. I'm thinking it was something else. Okay, so Carla also thinks she was trained on something other than Freightliner, but after training, majority of our trucking career has been Freightliner. So to switch over to another brand of truck, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just hoping it's not too different because, you know, you get when you get used to driving, you kind of get used to certain things. Like uh, I'm used to the J-Brake. That's the J-Brake right there. I hear it. It's helping her uh, slow the truck down because this truck too heavy to just use the brakes alone. But uh, so, you know, I'm used to my little finger, you know, flipping the J brake down. I'm used to the way the armrests are set up. Um, I'm just used to, you know, Freightliner, but I'm still open to uh, the change because, I mean, it's fun. It's exciting, you know. And one thing, though, with Freightliner, I notice it's so like I guess skinny and top heavy I guess when you go around certain curves it does feel like if you go too fast you'll roll over I don't think it was it felt exactly like that in the um in the Kenworth so I'm wondering if this new truck if it's gonna feel like that as well I don't know but we're all gonna find out together guys Military? Yes. <laughs> he take his job serious. That's what's up. Oh, did you get our mats? He over there with him now. Yeah. Okay. Got gotcha. He like a mom. Somebody forgot they were mad then. We ain't forgetting ours. You show my I need my mat. All right, we ready to drop Betsy on off. Drop Betsy on off and at least have a clean, as clean as we can have her, you know, take her on back. Mm -hmm. 